Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We are here in, well, in the dark, in the uh, corner of our basement with our little indoor garden. Now this is where we grow year round uh, in our basement, basically. And uh, we have a couple grow lights running down here that are pretty low wattage. They don't really consume too much power. Uh, and this is where we'll grow various crops throughout the year to uh, just help supplement things that we're, you know, eating around here. Uh, things we eat the most and uh, things that we'll use up quickly. Uh, sometimes we do short term uh, crops like little peas and beans and lettuces and radishes and carrots and things like that. And other times, like right now, we'll do some longer term things like uh, bell peppers and uh, rosemary and herbs and things. So let's check out the garden and see how things are growing. And then I'm going to talk about uh, a little change we're making in the grow lights here. So we can make most efficient use of power consumption and uh, the light that our plants are getting. So if you have been following along with the channel, you'll know that we recently added these three bell pepper plants and uh, we recently added a second grow light. So we have two grow lights in here right now. You can kind of see here uh, they are they're smaller grow lights. They both have a coverage area of about two foot by two foot or two foot by three foot, depending on the light. This one here is a little bit longer uh, this way than, than the other one is. Um, this one is a unit farm, and then this one is a Mars Hydro light. And um, basically what we're growing in here is all uh, kind of hot weather stuff. The rosemary, um, a pineapple top that we cut and threw in here. And uh, as many of you have said, it will be many years before we ever see a pineapple, so we'll see. And, and I guess they get very big. Uh, so we may end up transplanting this somewhere else or just uh, giving up on that, but we'll see. But we do have uh, some great peppers. So there's, there's uh, I don't know if you can see this one from that view, but there's a nice big one in here. And then there's two here that have already set. Um, you know, it won't be but a couple weeks before we'll have a, some bell peppers coming in pretty continuously. We've got some younger flowers on these two plants and then this one's a little bit more mature. And so these will start producing for us. And, and uh, you know, every week we'll be able to harvest two or three uh, bell poppers from these plants, which will be really nice. That should supply our needs pretty much entirely for uh, bell poppers. But this rosemary is doing really well. Everything's been doing really well under these grow lights. Um, got a little curling of leaves. This was from uh, before I transplanted these. Uh, and I do tend to forget to water these down here fairly often. <laughs> so um, I need an automatic watering system down here. That's what I need. So right now, basically what I have is these two grow lights. Um, they're both very different uh, in the light spectrum that they have and the power that they have. Uh, and so I'm going to replace these with a light that is more suited for this size garden. And I think that's important to remember if you're looking to grow inside and you're looking to create a little indoor grow space like this, uh, whether you're growing in aquaponics or hydroponics or in soil, um, you want to have lights that kind of match your grow beds. And so uh, you can get these square or rectangular lights in different coverage areas. And the one that I, uh, the one that I have to install today is actually going to replace both of these lights. And it's a nice long light that's going to cover this area perfectly. But first I want to show you how to measure uh, light intensity uh, very easily from, a, from your phone. Uh, and we'll, we'll go ahead and do that here. We'll measure the light intensity in, under both of these grow lights and in various areas of the grow bed. And then we'll get our new light put in and we'll compare and see what, uh, what the difference is and, and how much better or worse it is. Hopefully better. And so I'm in an app called the Sensors Multi-Tool. Of course, you can find it on the App Store. Um, I, this is for an Android phone in particular. I don't know if this is available on uh, an iPhone or not. You'd have to check the store there. But there are, there are other light sensor apps that you can use that measure uh, lux and lumens and uh, candle power and all kinds of other things that you can use for a very similar type of thing. Um, so I'm going to just go down here to the light option on this app. And this is going to tell us our luminance. This is measured in lux. And if I hold my phone underneath the grow light here, so I'm right at the top of the plant level underneath the Mars Hydro light that we put in a couple weeks ago. And it looks like I'm at about 26,000 lux uh, right here at this level. And this is kind of measuring, I think it's lumens per square inch or whatever. So it's uh, the lux is kind of a, a good measurement of your light intensity or light power uh, at various levels. Now, if I move this out to the edge of my grow space, you can see it drops down to about 9,000. I'm going to point the phone towards the light a little bit because that's probably a little bit more accurate on the edge here. So we're at about 14,000 and versus uh, in the center here, we were at about 28,000. So you can see quite a bit of a difference, almost half of the light power on the outside edge of the uh of the grow bed now this is the furthest away from the light because the lights are actually moved a little bit in towards the wall if i go to the other 
side of the uh, grow space and point that in. We're at about 23, 24,000 lumens uh, on that edge because the grow light's a little closer to that side of the, of the bed. And now let's check out here towards the far end of our grow bed. And we're at about 19,000 at the plant level here. So I'm just going about uh, maybe 10 inches above the surface of the soil. All right, now let's check the same readings underneath our unit farm light. And this unit farm light is a, a little bit more expensive light, a little higher powered. And so rated about the same level, we're at 51,000 lux, which is quite a bit more. And if we go to the end of the bed here towards the light, we're at 34, 35,000 lux. At the back of the grow bed here, we're oh, just about the same, not too much higher on the, on the outside edges here, 33,000. And so that gives us a, a pretty decent idea. Let's check in the middle here in between both lights, about 35,000. So that gives us a general idea of how our light coverage is you know, covering this little bed. This little grow space is about two feet uh, wide by about four feet long here. So I've turned off the, the flowering mode, the, uh, the red hue, the red light on this uh, light here so we get a better video. And I'm not really going to go into too much about the different uh, light spectrums that these lights offer. They all offer a little bit different, you know, in the red or blue and uh, flowering modes and all kinds of different things. Uh, you, can, you can definitely look into those things, but for growing vegetables inside, we just need some pretty basic things. We need uh, the majority of a, a bluer hue of light, which is what we have kind of here. You can see that's kind of a bluey look both of these lights are going to do fine but in order to get uniform growing it'd be nice to have just one light in here that covered the whole grow bed so let's take these two lights out and we'll put those away for now for a future growing project and let's get a new light in here that fits this grow bed So this light here, uh, just using the kilowatt to determine the actual power draw on the light, is about 228 watts. So 228 watts for the new light, and that's given us full coverage over the whole bed. Now before the old Mars Hydro light, the newer one that I got on this side, pulled about 145 watts. And then the unit farm light that I had on this side was about 180 watts. So we had a total draw of about 330, 325, 330 watts, somewhere right around there with the, uh, the old setup. And then about 230, we'll, we'll round it to 230 watts with the new setup. So we have about 100 less watts here, which I assume is going to mean we're probably going to get a little less light power. So let's get in and measure our uh, lux readings and uh, about the same uh, heights and areas and let's see what difference we have all right so for our lumens right here at the plant level on this side now we've got 52,000, so that's quite an improvement from the old light and we might be a little bit closer with this light on this side but uh, not much so it's got to be within an inch or two and we'll measure then on the back side over here and we're at oops the same level here uh, we're at about 30,000 lux. That's good. And at the ends here, 34,000, so we're, we're good. All right, so moving into the center here, I expect this to be pretty much the same across the board, about 55,000. We've got way more uniform, uh, uniform coverage here for this whole grill bed. This is going to be just perfect. So although the light spectrum and other things aren't going to be equal with uh, with all these different lights. The light intensity itself is very important. Um, the light intensity is going to determine how much these plants can photosynthesize, um, and that is very important, obviously. Lots of other things that are important with grow lights, not just your, your lumens um, or your lux readings, but uh, that is one of the most important, if not the most important, especially for growing your vegetative growth, so your herbs and your lettuces and all that kind of stuff. But these plants are going to do great under this light, and we've saved ourselves about 100 watts of power 
and we've now shaped the uh, light that we have basically to the shape of our grow bed, our grow system here. And so now we've got the most efficient use of light. So we've replaced two grow lights with one, and this thing is gonna work much better in here to cover this area. And see these little peppers in here. See these little peppers starting. And these things just grow super quick in here. Um, don't have to worry about bugs. Nice constant temperatures. We've got a bunch of them starting here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five, six peppers already running on this plant. And you can just see it's just flowering like crazy. And there's flowers everywhere. Growing like crazy. Leaves popping out in the um, new growth here. So these will replace these leaves as they die off. Um, very, very healthy plant. Um, even though we've got some curling on the older leaves here, this is a super, super healthy plant. Um, same with all these. This one here has just kind of started to to uh, revive after the uh, um, transplant. And this was also one of the weakest, smallest plants that uh, from the old grow shelf was on the far, far outside edge of the light. And so now this one's in the center, so it should get the strongest light. Just real, real healthy plant. And so we'll do another update on this garden here in, a, in another month or two, and I'll show you guys how well production's doing under the new light. And of course, I'll put a link in the description to all the information on this, uh, this light, uh, where you can find it on Amazon and all that kind of stuff. But this is just perfect. Another Mars Hydro product, just perfect for, uh, for growing in uh, this size grow bed. This would also work really well if you're doing an aquaponic system or hydroponic system because uh, this would fit really well over a barrel. So half of a barrel is about the same size as this bed. And one of these lights would cover um, each barrel really, really well. And so, uh, and the price on these is not, not too bad at all. So we're back in the dark so that you guys can see me with the, the grow lights on it. It washes everything out and I can't, uh, you guys can't see me. So. Uh, but this light is, uh, man, this thing is nice. It's just perfect for, for these longer growing beds, which is what I've always used. Uh, whether I was growing in the half barrels in the aquaponic system or in this little horse trough, um, it's always been an elongated grow uh, bed that I've had. And so uh, this light is perfect for coverage area. Coverage area is super important. If you get a light that's a two by two or two by three coverage area and you've got a two by four space, something's gonna give. You're gonna be wasting a lot of your grow space adding two lights like i had before was fine but again you saw that there's a lot of overlap there with those two lights and so we were wasting about 100 watts you know of of power every hour that those things ran 12 hours a day that adds up to quite a bit actually over a month or a year and so we cut back 100 watts of power that we're using and uh, now we're we're uh, super efficient we're getting good coverage for the whole entire bed and so it's it's really important to size your grow light not just paying attention to the lumen power and the you know the different light spectrums and all that kind of stuff and the leds that you're getting but also the the actual grow you know coverage area of that light and it's really going to depend on how the light's designed so these things are just absolutely perfect again i'll put a link in the description on amazon to those um, I might be buying a few more of those to use in our uh, garden bed because I think these will work great in our raised bed system that we have out in the greenhouse. Uh, I could probably put a few of those all the way down the center of that 25 foot long bed that's about four feet wide and uh, probably get a pretty decent coverage that way, at least right down the center. And so it uh, might be something I could do for the winter. Uh, we'll see, we'll see uh, that project will continue to evolve out there. As always guys, don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick update on the grow system. And uh, man, I can't wait to, to get some, our first fruits out of this thing and uh, eat some of them bell peppers. It's gonna be awesome to have a steady supply of those uh, here right in the house. Also like to hear from you guys, would you like to see another aquaponic system built? Uh, whether it's a little inside system here or maybe something out in the greenhouse, is that something that would interest you guys? I know that's kind of where this channel started was with aquaponics. And so I'd love to hear from you guys, uh, your thoughts on that. And uh, as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.